Alright everyone, we are here January 1st of 1937 for part 2 of our tutorial. Before we start looking at our situation in Spain again, let's organize our subfleets. I want to make sure we keep getting these nice round 12 stacks, make sure it stays nice and organized. And we'll take a look at our situation down here. Now this is pretty hard to push. I'm pretty sure it's because of the terrain, so we're going to try to go somewhere more vulnerable where they're already about to break. I'm going to let these guys get their organization back up a little bit. And we'll start punching through right here. Hopefully, in a very short amount of time, we are able to push, take Madrid, and get this war done with. Make sure our casts are still helping out our tanks. Yep, these are about to break. Uh oh. Got some units moving over here to help. I'm thinking we'll try to pin them here with these other units and see if we can punch through. Or they can get reinforcements in. Hopefully we can break them before we run out of strength punching over here. Perfect. So we just broke that. And I'm thinking I want to run across down here and try to cut the fronts in two rather than going for Madrid. I'm going to send him. That's a nice place to hit. Eh. Pretty much anyone will do. They're all about the same. So we'll stop you here, send you through, and follow that attack pattern with him. Just like that. Let's see if we can punch through quickly. This unit here has very low strength. Shouldn't take long to break him at all. Be nice if these Spanish would push with us. Uh, yeah, it's fine, I guess. Uh, they just reinforce it with more units, though. Let's see if we can't get this broke. Because their strength is quite low. If we get some help from these Spanish infantry, I think it would be much better. There we go, that's broken. And it looks like we have some more room to produce civilian factories. Very cool. Yep, so we're going to keep building civilian factories here, and then in April, we will begin producing some more military factories. But for now, we don't have to do that just yet, so we'll just keep focusing on our push in Spain. And like I said, hopefully we don't get cut off here for one. And let's hope we can split these fronts up a little bit. I'll have to watch and make sure, yep, we're going to want to start pulling back, actually. These are some very risky maneuvers I'm going for, but I like trying some risky stuff. Oh, hold on, we got Spanish coming in. I think we'll be able to commit to this movement. Yep, they're coming in nicely now. Oh, he's defending, we'll hit this unit from the other side. Army innovations has been complete, and then we will do a treaty with the USSR. And we'll have our tank designer hired just in time for that focus to complete. Let's stop your offensive, actually. We're gonna go reinforce him. So let's see if we can maybe sneak you out here and cut this bit off if they stop attacking, which is unlikely. Oh, they just reinforced that too. Let's see if you can sneak in through here. I want to cut these boys in Valencia off, just to get a little pocket going so they don't have a lot of supply up there. I'd like to clean up. Next we'll start radio. Yep, it looks like this unit attacking us is nearly out of strength. So we're going to be able to make a push. We'll send both of them, actually. Oh, one of you pin, pin them here. The other one, go and take our tile for us. Go on, take it. Go on. 
Oh man, it looks like the anarchists were spawned in. We need a little bit more divisions, I think. Um. Perfect. We just want that number at five hundred thousand when the war begins. Um, when we have to do the endless focus. Let him move out of that tile, and come on, we gotta get our boys in there, I'm not sure why they're moving so slow. And now we can hire our Porsche designer. Extra armor, extra heart attack. This will give our mediums a little bit more punch against the Soviet tanks when we fight them. Very nice. Uh oh, what about operatives? We're captured. That's no good. Let's see. And we're going to need to import some oil, too. How about from Romania? Three factories, maybe? Three factories worth of oil? Um, do we have... We don't have anyone to go rescue. What if we do quick research on localized trading centers? Get another operative and then bust them out. Nice and easy. Concentrated has been finished. And... Let's secure. Yes, let's get another doctorate research going. We have the bonuses now, so those are going to be very much easier to do than before. And just keep trying to move south of this pocket up here. It'd be nice to kill these divisions off. I mean, it looks like they've made excellent progress in the center. Like getting attacked from over here by the Soviet volunteers. There we go, that's why we were pinned for so long. Not sure how I didn't realize that. There we go. We want to steal these ports so they have nowhere to run. We want these divisions finished off. There. There's one port. He's got those units pinned there. Let's move and take this, and then quickly move back down here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Secure the ports. Don't let those units out. Very good. Keep organizing these units as they're done training. And let's do... How far is it out? Quite a far, quite a far way out on those still. So let's do... Let's do an air doctrine. Use our XP to boost it. You, no, I'm gonna keep you on the board actually. Localized training centers is complete, so now you can see. Um, we won't do any more, and I think if I read that properly. Plus one recruitment option choices. Oh, so it doesn't actually give you another slot for recruiting, it just gives you more choices. Hmm. That's tricky. So we're just gonna let that sit for a bit. Looks like we've just finished the focus. And the next thing we'll be researching is um, the tanks, but for now we'll um, put national focus on coal liquidization. They've accepted the treaty. Lovely. Things happening in Asia. Our airship is blown up. So sad. Our cipher for Poland is decrypted. Excellent. So now, let's begin on France. Yep, these units are being destroyed very nicely. Ah, I should probably move my air force down here. Get a little more punch behind our divisions with the gas. Let's see if we can't make a little push in the south here. Yep, so I think the next thing we'll begin is our industrial concern for that industry research boost. Very nice. It's done, and oop, I waited a little too long to start mills. That's alright. It's not a huge deal. I'm only one month later than 
what I was initially hoping. Shouldn't cause too much of an issue at all. So we'll actually run them one month later than I was planning, and stop them in December, and then begin producing synthetics until April. And then go straight military factories after that, up until when the war starts. Logistics company is done, and once radio is done, we'll start um, our signal company. But for now, let's do convoy interdiction. So there's the democratic side, so now we just have to finish off the anarchists. Looks like they only have one victory point left, so this should be nice and easy. Yep, just like that. We've secured a victory for our allies. The units are coming along nicely. The only deficit now we have is artillery. 200 days. That is quite a lot of days, isn't it? Uh, not to worry. Not a huge deal. For the time being, actually, I will shift some off there. Actually, I will shift some off here. Put them on cast. Now, a lot of experienced players might be panicking now. Why do you have one military factory on your infantry equipment? We'll see. Trust the system. So, we have that going. And, looks like we have another 12 submarines. Very cool. Take two out, put them in their own group. And so that's four out of five of the ones that I would like. Now, we are going to get a little bit more on each of those, and then we will increase some production of infantry equipment. Like I said, though, in the past, I'm not too concerned. Our deficit will be made up greatly by the annexation events, which we'll be getting shortly. Looks like radio is done, and so now we can start doing signal companies. And now, industrial concern with our political power. This focus is just about done, and we can start synthetic rubber. More stuff happening in Asia. I might be sending an attaché to Japan, depending on what our political power situation is looking like. May or may not. And we have a decent amount of army experience store, so I bet you I actually won't. So what we can actually do now is add some support companies onto our units. We'll start with just one, because I'm quite sure if we tried to do another we would go over on our stockpile, but it'll add some better buffs to our divisions that we have there. And now we'll increase production here, and then we'll get about five factories on guns, and then put more on fighters. Fighters are the lifeblood of any German strategy. If you don't have green air, you simply can't break France in. Whole new army group. Very nice. Um, any generic infantry leader will do. That one will do. Yep, so these are coming along nicely. In the future we will be getting a war industrialist as well, because late game we will be shifting almost all of our construction over to things like only military factories, and probably really only dockyards as well. We won't be doing any more civilian factories or any refineries later. At least not a lot of refineries. Some, but not a lot. Finished our doctrine research, and so now we can do a 300% boost in research time on our oil processing. Very, very nice. Nice and early research. Our army is nearing the number that we need them to hit in order to do the Anschluss. So 
Oh, yeah, well, actually, yes. Let's look at our deficit. What are we seeing here? 100 days. 140 days. Perfect. Very nice. Almost 500,000 men in the field. So the moment these boys have the equipment they need and they deploy, we'll be able to do the focus no problem. Looks like we only need one more division to do it. So it looks like synthetic rubber has been completed, and now we'll start the extra research slot. And after that, we'll begin the focus for the Angelus. 1938 is really when things start picking up, is in your German games. There we go. We've reached the manpower levels that we needed. Um, next, um, if you ever play in Germany, never ever go down mobile infantry. These are just horrific. I. I don't know why you would ever use these. Blitzkrieg path, though. Very powerful. So now that we have enough men in the field, too, I'm not too worried about our stockpile, so I actually will start adding some more companies, uh, like our signal companies and our logistics companies, onto our frontline infantry. And look, we still have enough. Very nice. About the 70 infrastructure province. That's where we'll construct more military factories. More divisions ready. More divisions. And we have two more here. So we'll need to start another 15. Just slowly start dripping units into that. And it looks like we now have just enough subs, one to spare actually, to. Um, there. Ah, miscounted. So we have ten there, one in reserve. We'll wait till we have just enough. And then we'll start doing some of the traits that I would like on my ships, some of their attributes, and we'll put admirals on them as well. So we have 150 political power now, and I'll start investing in my military staff. Let's start with Erwin Rommel, army genius. Look at this, 15% attack and defense for our armor divisions. Our tanks are going to hit very, very hard. Decrease some of their just to even this out, we'll get four going there. And then once December starts, we'll begin building synthetics. Then so says Germany, oil is a very hard commodity to come by, unfortunately. So, now I think we'll have enough submarines in our reserve. Yes, we do. We'll take two of them, throw them in here, merge those. So now we have five stacks of 12 subs. And on these, we will have this general right here. It's a sea wolf. Incredible effects for our submarines. And you, I don't really care. You'll do. So now we're going to want to go to. Um, these subs here and look at their traits. You can see that they do not have automatic reinforcements active. That will change. Automatic split off is not active. That will change. High repair priority. I like that. And set engagement risk to low. And we'll go through and change every pack to have those same traits. So I think that is going to be the way that our submarines operate the best. Now they're set how they want them to. We have generals. Now we just grind a little bit more XP out of them. And we can use them for a doctrine boost, which will be very nice indeed. And actually I will start deploying some fighters so we can get them organized and begin training with them. So I'll break them off in groups of 500, 
get that fighter group there. One, two, three, four, five. Move them over here, please. There we go. Deploy another 100 here. So there's a 500 stack of fighters. We'll start training them. Another 500 stack. We'll start training them. And let's get some cast as well. Ah, not that many. That's alright, because soon we'll be ramping up close air support production also. So it looks like we have reached December, so I'll start toning down our production of military factories, and we will transition to synthetics. And now it is time to start the Anschluss focus. This will give us plenty of factories, and plenty of of units which we will be deleting and putting their equipment in our national stockpiles. Uh, we'll do another air doctorate. Why not? One of these nice and powerful. Up so we have all of these planes exercising, and now that we have 100 naval XP, I'll stop exercising these. Actually, I will stop exercising some of them. You can stop, you can stop, you can stop, and you can stop. These ones will keep going though, just to train them up. We have enough XP, but might as well train those ones up. So now we'll do computing machines. And... We will do... Panzer twos. Get some rubber. Very nice. And let's check on our decryption. How long is that? 50% done. Very cool. Eh, I don't care too much about that operative, to be honest. The main thing that I focus on when anything in cryptology is for resistance suppression and uh, the decryption is really the only thing that I actually care about. So I am okay. Agent killed. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. What are you gonna do? And now we have reached January 1st, so that will conclude the 1937 part of the tutorial. Our next part, 1938, things will pick up quite, quite rapidly.